So last night at that party, you met an amazing girl, amazing chemistry. You guys had a great conversation. You got her phone number. You follow up the next day. Her response is embarrassing. Why? You got her name wrong. Why shoot yourself in the foot when instead you could make a great first impression? In today's video, gents, messaging mistakes men make and how to avoid them. Starting things off, don't text a woman you don't know. Now, this sounds obvious, but I've spoken with many women who have said, you know, I get these random texts from random guys. Yeah, they're friends of friends and somehow they got my number, but they thought it was okay just to start texting me. Gents, don't do this. It's creepy. If you're interested in the woman, then approach her, talk to her and get her number from her directly. Now, this next one I hit on at the beginning, but I want to be more clear. Know her name use the correct name and know how to spell her name. So let's face it, for most of us, remembering names is very difficult. So when you meet someone you're really interested in, remember their name by saying their name, using their name, having an association with their name, but make a point. If you know you're bad with names, say, I'm going to remember this one because I'm going to associate it with this. Next up, use the right name. Her name is Jamie not Jane. They both start with a J, but she notices the difference. And get the spelling. She spells Jamie J-A-M-I-E. You spelt it J-A-I-M-E. Now that last one may seem nitpicky, but you got to understand people are sensitive to their names. You need to get it right. This next one, very simple. Don't bring up your ex. There's no reason you need to do it. The next messaging mistake, being too serious. Guys, have fun. Be lighthearted. Text messaging is a light form of communication. Conversations, if you want to go deep, that's when the face-to-face -face conversations are great. But right now, text messaging, not. Nah. Keep this light. Keep it fun. Now, as the messages get fun, they get flirty, you start sending pictures back and forth. All right, guys, it needs to be said. Dick pics, don't do it. Guys, I went through, I read the surveys, and apparently women hate them as much as men love sending them. The research is clear. These pictures do not help you get what you're after. Now, what about when she starts to send you personal photos? Well, congratulations, but you don't need to celebrate by sending those photos off to all your friends. And at this point, you definitely don't want to get your phone hacked. So let me ask, are you using a VPN to protect your privacy on the web? And a VPN, in case you don't know, it's a virtual private network. So whenever you access the web, if you don't have basically this protection, you are increasing the likelihood that your phone can get hacked, that people can actually see what you're doing on the web. So you're no longer anonymous. Gents, if you care about your privacy and security online, you need to check out ExpressVPN. They're the sponsor of today's video. I've worked with them multiple times. I love this company because they make it so easy to secure your online access. So why is ExpressVPN awesome? Let me show you. First up, they're consistently one of the fastest VPN providers out there. Guys, they've got VPN locations in 94 countries. This means wherever you're at in the world, you're going to be able to connect. They got 24-7 customer support so you can get help whenever you need it. They allow you to surf the internet without restrictions. You can securely stream or download content anywhere at any time. No activity, no connection logs. Your data is your business. They've got apps for every device, Windows, iOS, Android, Mac, Linux. They've also got browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox. And it's incredibly easy to use. We're talking about connecting with just one click. And the best part, guys, it's less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Take back your internet privacy today. I want you to click on the link down in the description. That's going to get you three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash RMRS. That's expressvpn.com slash RMRS. The next mistake guys make, showing off. Guys, I know you got the private jet. I know you got the Lambo, but you don't need to have it behind you in every single picture. What about shirtless pictures, the pictures of you at the gym? Guys, this depends. I mean, if you're at the beach, it makes sense to be shirtless. If you're just at home wanting to take a picture of you without a shirt on to show her that keg that you've got going on, guys, probably not. There is an exception to this. If you're Vladimir Putin, you can send a shirtless picture to anybody. And guys, don't be a catfish. You wouldn't like it if someone did that to you. Catfishing, in case you're not familiar with it, it's when you create an online persona which is false. Now, most guys don't blatantly lie, but many do half-ass catfish. And that is where you're putting up profile photos that you're passing off as recent photos, but they're 10 years old. And 10 years ago, you were in your prime when it came to being in shape. You've gained a little bit of weight. Let's say you're losing a bit of your hair. Your hair's going gray. Guys, if you're out there dating, people are going to be checking out your profile photos. So make sure that they're accurate. 
Now, this next testing mistake I find really strange, and that is don't use periods. It's okay to have imperfect grammar. Now, you don't want to misspell her name, but what you don't want to do is look at every single sentence and make sure it's perfect. And periods, for some reason, in texting, when you go back and forth, they've got kind of a negative connotation to them, so simply don't use them. So, the next mistake guys make is they give a one-word response. You want to be careful with this because when you send a one-word response, especially if they've sent you a couple sentences, what basically what it's doing is it's signaling you want to end the conversation. So, does that mean you need to text more, that you need to ask her more questions? Be careful with questions. That's the next mistake is that some guys, they basically turn it into an inquisition. They just keep asking all these questions again and again. So, don't ask too many questions. Save those for your face-to-face -face meetings. And speaking of the face-to-face -face meeting, don't make the mistake of texting for too long. You don't want this to go on for weeks and for months. I get it if it's long distance, but if you're close to each other, you need to meet up again. So, within a week, try to set up a time to get together. Congratulations. She wants to go out again. Now, the next mistake a lot of guys make, they screw it up when it comes to logistics. You want to know exactly where you're going to meet and at what time. It's very simple, but you've got to get these details right. Let's say she keeps putting you off or canceling. The next mistake guys make, they don't take a hint. Three times, treat it like baseball. Strike one, strike two, strike three, move on. And do I even need to talk about drunk texting? Now, I know some of you guys are going to have success stories there, but for the vast majority of us, it's not going to end well. And what about emojis? Guys, you want to use them. In fact, if you check out this video right here, I talk about the research that clearly shows the more emojis you use, the luckier you're going to get. And if you've already got a degree in emoji science, you know what you're doing there, then check out this video right here, bad cell phone etiquette. Most guys are screwing this up. In this video, I tell you exactly what not to do. I guarantee you're going to learn something new in this video. Check it out.